paragliding is an exciting and accessible form of aerial adventure, combining the thrill of flight with the simplicity of human-powered equipment. Below is a comprehensive exploration of paragliding, delving into its history, equipment, techniques, safety considerations, types of paragliding, and its cultural significance. What is paragliding? Paragliding is a recreational and competitive sport involving a lightweight, free-flying, foot-launched glider aircraft. The pilot sits in a harness suspended below a fabric wing, which consists of interconnected cells. Unlike parachuting, paragliders are designed to sustain flight over long distances and enable pilots to control their direction and altitude by harnessing air currents. The concept of paragliding originated from the broader desire of humans to fly. While modern paragliding emerged in the late 20th century, its roots can be traced back to parachuting and advancements in glider technology. Early beginnings, the principles of controlled descent began with parachutes. Early pioneers like Leonardo da Vinci sketched designs for flying devices, though these ideas were far ahead of their time. The first practical parachute jump was made by André Jacques Garnerin in 1797, a milestone that eventually influenced the design of paragliders. Modern development. In the 1960s and 70s, mountaineers sought ways to descend from peaks quickly. This led to experiments with modified parachutes. The true breakthrough came in 1965 when French parachutist Pierre Lemoyne developed a rectangular parachute with controllable steering lines. This design was later refined for paragliding. By the 1980s, paragliding became a distinct sport with dedicated equipment and techniques. Equipment in paragliding. Paragliding equipment has evolved to ensure both performance and safety. Here's a breakdown. The wing, canopy, made from ripstop nylon, the wing is designed to create lift. It consists of an upper and lower layer, forming cells that trap air and maintain the wing's shape. Types of wings, beginner wings, more stable and forgiving. Intermediate wings, balanced for maneuverability and performance. Advanced wings, high performance but less stable. Harness, the harness supports the pilot and connects them to the wing via risers and carabiners. Modern harnesses are ergonomic, offering back support, storage compartments, and sometimes built-in airbags for safety. Reserve parachute, a mandatory safety device used during emergencies. Helmet provides head protection. Full-face helmets are common for additional safety. Variometer, measures vertical speed, helping pilots locate rising air currents thermals. Radio and GPS enables communication and navigation, especially during cross-country flights. Protective clothing includes windproof jackets, gloves, and sturdy footwear to ensure comfort and protection. The science of flight and paragliding. Paragliding relies on aerodynamics, where lift, thrust, drag, and gravity interact. Understanding these principles is crucial for safe and efficient flying. Lift, generated by air pressure differences above and below the wing. The wing's design maximizes lift. Thrust, in paragliding, the thrust comes from the pilot's forward motion during takeoff and the natural energy of air currents. Drag, resistance created by the wing and pilot. Paragliders are designed to minimize drag. Gravity, the force pulling the pilot down is counteracted by lift to sustain flight. Thermals and ridge lift. Thermals, columns of rising warm air that pilots use to gain altitude. Ridge lift, air deflected upwards by terrain, such as cliffs or hills. Mastering paragliding involves learning proper techniques for launching, flying, and landing. Launching, forward launch, running forward until the wing inflates and lifts the pilot. Reverse launch, common in strong winds where the pilot faces the wing, inflates it, and then turns to launch. In-flight control, pilots use brake lines to steer and adjust speed. Weight shifting helps in making precise turns. Landing requires a controlled descent. Pilots often use flaring pulling brake lines to reduce speed before touchdown. Advanced maneuvers, soaring, using ridge lift to maintain altitude. Cross-country flying, traveling long distances by navigating through thermals. Types of paragliding. Paragliding encompasses several disciplines. Recreational paragliding focuses on leisure and enjoyment of flight. Cross-country, XC paragliding, involves covering long distances by navigating through various air currents. Acrobatic paragliding features tricks and stunts like spirals, loops, and wingovers. Powered paragliding, paramotoring, adds a motor to the setup, allowing for independent takeoff without the need for thermals. 
Tandem paragliding involves two people, a pilot and a passenger, ideal for beginners or scenic flights. Competition paragliding, pilots compete in tasks like distance flying, precision landing, and aerobatics. Safety in paragliding. Safety is a paramount concern in paragliding. While the sport is generally safe, risks exist and mitigating them is crucial. Training. Enroll in certified paragliding schools to learn proper techniques and emergency procedures. Weather assessment. Avoid flying in adverse conditions, including strong winds, thunderstorms, or turbulence. Equipment checks. Regularly inspect gear for wear and tear. Emergency procedures. Practice deploying reserve parachutes and handling mid-air incidents. Physical and mental preparedness. Stay in good physical shape and maintain focus during flights. Paragliding has become a global phenomenon with breathtaking destinations attracting enthusiasts. Burbilling, India, renowned for its thermals and panoramic views of the Himalayas. Annecy, France, a hot spot for both beginners and experts, offering stunning alpine landscapes. Queenstown, New Zealand, offers scenic flights over mountains and lakes. Pokhara, Nepal, a gateway to the Annapurna Range with ideal flying conditions. Oludeniz, Turkey, famous for coastal flights and the Blue Lagoon. Cultural and recreational significance. Paragliding has become more than just a sport. It represents freedom, adventure, and a connection to nature. It's often featured in festivals, adventure tourism, and as a means of personal challenge. Conclusion, paragliding is a captivating blend of science, skill, and adventure. Whether you're soaring over mountains, exploring new landscapes, or competing in events, paragliding offers a unique perspective of the world. With proper training, respect for safety, and a spirit of exploration, the sky truly becomes a playground.